Welcome to a very special edition of Resource PNG. This week we're in Buka in the autonomous region of Bougainville. We'll be taking a look at the inauguration ceremony of the third House of Representatives for the autonomous Bougainville government. In the first segment, we join Fabian Hakalitz with a look at the proceedings from the inauguration on the 15th of June 2015. It's a new dawn for Bougainville as it commemorates its 10th anniversary of autonomy since formed in 2005. The two flags, PNG National and Bougainville, were raised at the Buka Airport. That welcomed the high powered delegation led by Acting Prime Minister Grand Chief Leo Dion into the autonomous region of Bougainville. Accompanying the delegation were some of the country's founding fathers. Grand Chief Sir Michael Sumare, Sir Rabbi Namaliu, and Sir John Kaputin. At the Bougainville House of Representatives, the 14 newly elected members took the oath before Chief Justice Sir Salomo India. Witnessing this swearing in was acting Prime Minister Grand Chief Leo Dion, national government representatives, foreign mission representatives, and the people of the autonomous region of Bougainville. The third house is led by the President, Chief Dr. John Momis. The election also for the new speaker, secret ballot votes, indicated Simon Pantano as the new speaker. The 10th anniversary celebrations continued at Hujena Oval in Buka. Then the parade by the Bougainville Police Service that was inspected by the acting Prime Minister. Grand Chief Sir Michael Sumare was proud to celebrate with Bougainvilleans the achievement as he was involved with Bougainville issues. Sir Michael congratulated the autonomous Bougainville government for setting the benchmark with government processes like the successful conduct of the general election. And I'm standing here very proud of the fact because I have been also involved with you in the Bougainville issue. It's all gone now. It's a water under the bridge. Forget it. Let's work for Bougainville tomorrow. Future Bougainville, future children of Bougainville. With the referendum signpost, President Chief Dr. John Mumis is adamant both governments will work together under the Bougainville Peace Agreement to prepare for the referendum. But the real preparatory work begins now with the election of the third ABG. Key issues remain to be negotiated, including the referendum date and the question, questions to be asked in the referendum. The financial resources available to us will of course have a huge impact on what the third ABG House can achieve. Momis pointed out the need for more coordinated planning of use of fiscal resources of the ABG, national government, donors and Bougainville MPs. Limited coordination causes confused objectives, overlap and even waste. I propose developing a new mechanism for consulting the national government, MPs and donors so as to agree both development goals under a rolling plan and what aspects of the plan each will fund. The acting Prime Minister retold the story of Bougainville being accorded the highest form of autonomy under the PNG constitution. How the rest of Papua New Guinea arranges itself is that in the near future will suddenly look towards Bougainville's experience as a reference point. The ideal scenario, whether one calls it autonomy, greater power sharing or something else, is for the meaningful participation of the greatest number of people in their own government. The overriding objective of the Bougainville Peace Agreement, the people of Bougainville and Papua New Guinea including the wider international communities, is to continue support and maintain peace in the lead-up towards referendum. We need to work together to ensure 
that we must create a conducive environment within which all Bougainvilleans can exercise their guaranteed right to decide on their future. Grand Chief Sir Michael Sumare was recognized for his contribution to peace building in Bougainville and in return was presented with four peaks and food by the Nisan Islanders as a sign of thank you. <laughs> The inauguration of the third ABG House marks a significant step forward in the implementation of the Bougainville Peace Agreement to achieve results. A challenge now put forward is for leaders of both the national and autonomous Bougainville governments to work together for Bougainville to achieve its dreams of one day becoming an independent nation. After the break, we'll have a listen to the president of the autonomous region of Bougainville, Chief Dr. John Momis, on his plans for the resource sector in Bougainville. Stay with us. Welcome back to Resource PNG. The resource sector on Bougainville is one sector that the autonomous Bougainville government is looking towards to build the economy of this wonderful place. In this segment, let's have a listen to the president of the autonomous region of Bougainville, Chief Dr. John Momis, on his thoughts on the future of the resource sector. With a referendum on possible independence due within the next five years, the autonomous Bougainville government has the challenge of ensuring that the region is ready. A large part of this readiness is the ability for the region to have a self-sustaining economy. Recently, the possibility of reopening Panguna Mine has been a topic of heated discussion. The mine has been seen as a key part of getting Bougainville's economy back on track. During the inauguration of ABG's third House of Representatives, President Chief Dr. John Mummis spoke on the need for Bougainville to ensure that it was economically self-sufficient and the operations of Panguna were a topic which the president spoke of. The only realistic option for rapid fiscal self-reliance and improved levels of services is large-scale mining. Reopening the Panguna mine would provide the best chance of early revenue as it could open in six or seven years. Alternative new mining projects would take from 15 to 30 years from exploration to production. Under our March 2015 Bougainville Mining Act, customary landowners also own minerals. They can reject mining exploration and development. So Panguna will not reopen without landowner agreement. That means clear agreement by a clear majority of landowners with no manipulation of consent. It is certainly possible Panguna will not reopen if landowners oppose it or if BCL don't return and alternative developers can't be found. But other communities want mining exploration and those possibilities will be evaluated. The radical new Bougainville Mining Act means any new mining will be on 
totally different terms from under the Bougainville Copper Agreement. The biggest protection is that no development will be possible unless both landowners and the ABG are satisfied with all the conditions for mining. The ABG's third major task is securing Bougainville's future by full implementation of the peace agreement, which means achieving full autonomy and preparing for the referendum and achieving complete weapons disposal. And so the ABG now begins the hard task of trying to develop its economy. Whether or not Panguine reopens will remain a decision which will untimely be left to all stakeholders. A decision which may have far reaching consequences for the autonomous region of Bougainville. Welcome back to Resource PNG. Francisca Semoso has been re-elected as the member representing the women of North Bougainville. She has very strong views. And in this segment, let's have a listen to what she has to say about the future of the economy in the autonomous region of Bougainville. In the autonomous region of Bougainville, women hold the balance of power as a largely matrilineal society. Women's views are held in high regard. In the region's House of Representatives, Autonomous Bougainville Government, the importance of women is demonstrated through the three reserve seats, North, Central and South. Francisca Semoso is the women's representative for North Bougainville. She has also been appointed deputy speaker for the Bougainville House of Representatives. With Bougainville preparing for a referendum for possible independence, Ms. Semoso is adamant on the need for Bougainville to develop its economy. And she believes the answer may not only be in mining. In any country, in any island state, is a way forward for that island country um, and for Bougainville. It is a way forward. Um, economy is, is a way, it's, it's one of those vehicles um, that any country, that any island state will actually have to have to be able to bring in that finance it needs uh, to, to sustain um, the, the country, the province and its people. So Bougainville's economy at this time really needs to be brought, brought up to what it's supposed to be. And again, you know, we, we have all these hiccups that, 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 that need um, to be sorted out for Bougainville to be financially, financially stable, um, to be able to stand as autonomous region of Bougainville, a semi-independent island until people uh, decide in 2019 um, whether still to be with, with, with PNG or to, 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 to decide their full, full referendum and eventually independent. Bougainville's e economy right now, I mean, we've got cocoa and coconut, and that is not enough. So the third house will actually be looking at ways to, to make sure that Bougainville is financially um, stable and Bougainville has a financial capacity and strength to be able to say, okay, come 2019, our people would be ready. So the third house, the third house is the house that will need to be looking at that. You know, people, I've heard people say, okay, you've got fish. You know, why don't you start a fishing industry? 
it's easier to advise people to do that. We need the financial capacity to actually make sure that these industries get up on its feet and are thriving. Coconut and copra is what we have. Now, the PNG government might say, you guys are not ready. You are not ready, one, because weapons disposal is not completed yet. It's never been completed. Two, you don't have the financial capacity to actually be able to be on your own. So the third house is really important that we find our way now. If the way is already there, if strategy is already there, then we need to make them work. So the third house will be the house that will look at the financial capacity that we have, the financial strength that we have as a government now. The economy of Bougainville, I mean, we, we still get all our major funding from the PNG government. We haven't got yet what it takes to be able to say we are financially able now. We are financially strengthened enough to be on two feet now. So again, it'll take this government to be working with the national government and say, okay, you know, we need you. You papa me blah. We want this. We are able. We know, we know, we know we can. All we need is for you to say, okay, are we able to, to ask and you give, me, you give me this? Totally give me what I'm asking for. And, and PNG owes it to Bougainville. PNG owes it to Bougainville. You know, if I tell my father, you know, Papa, I'm able to get married now. Can you, can you give, give him hand, you know, give me away to my, you know, to my husband. I'm old enough. And I will, I will come back to you if I need a bit more help. But I think I know where I want to go. And I know where I want to go. I want to be married. Give me And there's no need to be fearful. So this third house, importantly, is going to make sure we strategize, we talk with our people in Bougainville, we need to be going this way. And we need the finance we need to actually be seeing Bougainville achieve its dream. And, and nobody can say, okay, you want to be on your own, well, find your own way. We're going to be finding our own way. It just needs that solidarity, that understanding amongst people of Bougainville to be able to know where do we go from here. If we have to go this way and achieve what we want in 2019, that Bougainvilleans need to stand up together and say, where do we go to find that financial strength? Cobra is tough, cocoa is tough, but that is not enough. We need to find something. And if people are talking about mining, well, people will have to agree. If mining is the way forward, it's up to the landowners to agree. You know, ABG will facil facilitate what the people are going to be saying. And we want to be clear from day one. ABG is a government that's going to facilitate whatever the people of Bougainville want. We are not going to be bulldozing that idea. It'll have to be uh, a uniformity decision. People will agree to it, and the people who own it will agree to it. And that's all we have time for in this edition of Resource PNG. If you'd like to contribute to the program, please email us. Our address is resourcepng at mtv.com.pg. You can also view this edition online again by going to www.mtv.com.pg where you will find a link to the Resource PNG page. Until the next time, enjoy your viewing on MTV.